Hey Pickles, what's going on? I did not think I was gonna film a vlog today. I woke up at like 11 or 12 and it is currently almost 6 p.m. So it's just so much of the days gone by and I was not optimistic about filming a vlog. Um, I had already made breakfast. I had already worked on a bunch of five minute requests. Um, when I finish five minute requests, I usually send the person a message. If it's on Cash App, I'll send them a, an emoji. If it's on like Venmo or PayPal, I'll message them directly, send the link or whatever. So, because I did five five minute requests, and then immediately after that I filmed Monday's video, which is like a crazy doctor video, I was exhausted and I was like, oh, I don't, I don't know if I have time for a vlog, <laughs> I don't have my equipment out here, this lighting is like my dining room table lighting, but anyways guys, I'm actually making some chicken pot pie right now, and I thought I'd take y'all on that journey, since I hardly ever vlog with y'all at night, um, I thought this would be a night vlog, anyway. So I got the chicken cooking, it's raw. I just put it in there, super seasoned. Um, I am going to make some chicken pot pie. So I need the chicken to cook. While the chicken's cooking, I'm gonna throw one pie crust in the oven, half a pie crust, cause it'll be the bottom pie crust. And then um, in the meantime, I will be waiting in my room for all that to cook. It's probably gonna be like an hour before I come check on the chicken. So that's what I have on the agenda right now. Jasmine's asleep, Nick's asleep. Everybody's just sleep right now. My brother got home from work and pretty much got in the bed. Um, it's pretty much a ghost zone. It's a ghost town. I threw on the Christmas lights this morning. I turned them off last night. I usually leave them on all night. Um, but I got my electric bill and I'm like, okay, I'll just start turning it off. <laughs> um, no worries though. Like I said, nothing crazy is going on. Jazz is asleep. We are all buckled up. Yay, Christmas jazz. <laughs> so now the vlog is kicking. Okay. All right, girl. Getting everything on for you. Hold your horses. All right. You ready for a good time? We are making chicken pot pie for dinner. Are you excited for the chicken pot pie? Eh. She's like, girl, I'm not gonna eat that. I ain't got ah. cheese. Yeah, you ready to eat? You want a snack, don't you? You want a snack? <laughs> All right, signing in. Gonna turn on some Disney or something for jazz. And then I'm gonna go lay down until the food is ready for turning and or uh, what's the word? Mixing? Oh, yeah. Okay. I made some cinnamon rolls for breakfast, and I think Jazz would enjoy another one. She already had one for breakfast, but she's having a second one for her snack. I gotta go get her bottle as well. Yeah, I'm not using my equipment. I'm just using my phone's flash and walking around. <laughs> Normally I set up, but bleh, who's got time for that? I'm gonna go ahead and throw on The Greatest Showman for her because it's one of the best movies. It's her favorite movie. It'll ensure she's quiet. So, you ready, Jazz? Yay, Greatest Showman, woo! Anyway, let's go wait on the food. I'm gonna get... I'm gonna go grab Jazz's bottle real quick out of her crib area. Ooh. This is all Jazz needs for a successful eating time. 
Anyways, I am going to be waiting on the food. Jazz's area. Well, I am just gonna take a quick look at the chicken, check it. Oh yeah, that looks nice. That looks nice. They look like they need a good flipping, huh? All right, I'm gonna give the chicken a good flip. You guys can be right here. Follow me. Give the chicken a good flip here. That's looking good. That's looking good, pickles. Always use an oven mitt. Don't watch, don't watch me. Okay. So, now I need to make the mix in which I need some mixed vegetables. I need some, uh, a can of chicken. Either a cream of chicken or cream of mushroom. And I'm gonna use cream of chicken. So we need that. Need a bit of green vegetables, and then you need a ramen packet seasoning. Got the ramen packet seasoning. Okay, so it looks like we are pretty much good to go. I need a potato. I need to boil a potato. So. Luckily, I had potatoes in the pantry. I'm gonna peel this potato real quick and then throw it in the boiler. Okay, pickles. So, I am peeling this potato really quickly. Trying to conserve as much potato as possible, but pick up the pace a bit. Um, I forgot about the potato low key until right now. I definitely could have prepped this earlier, but alas, now time is of the essence. So I'm peeling this potato and I'm gonna throw it in a, uh, uh, like a like a bowl of water. It's just big enough for the potato while the potato is sliced in half. And I'm gonna boil it in the microwave by running it in the microwave for about five to eight minutes. And uh, yeah, it'll soften the potato so I can cut it into the pot pie. My mom taught me this recipe. She used to make it, well, she still makes it, but she made it growing up. So here, this is my ugly peeled potato because I don't know where my potato peeler is. And I'm going to throw it in a bowl to boil. If I can find a bowl. This bowl is fine. This bowl. I will cut the potato in half like so. Boom. Throw it in the boiler. Rinse the potato. Rinse the potato. And now put some water in there and a little bit of salt, a little bit of salt in the boiler. So we want to make sure it's like a half inch above the potato, the water, and then I'm going to throw it in there for about five minutes. Now in that time, I need to shred the chicken. 
She's eating her cinnamon bun. Cinnamon bun. Six minutes on the clock. Cinnamon bun. Check the chicken. Chicken's looking chickeny. All right. All right, guys. So, Neil, we want to get a pot that you can put a bunch of stuff in. One of these babies. Jasmine, I am trying to teach the pickles how to make chicken pot pie. You want to throw your two thirds cup of vegetables in there. Two-thirds cup. Now, that's an approximation. Add what feels right. So, I'm going to start with my two-thirds cup and my uh, cream of chicken. Condensed. Ah. I'm gonna dump it in there. I need to scrape the can. So I grab a knife to scrape the can. throw that can out we are going to just mix it in the pot and just kind of look at it and be like is that enough vegetables that doesn't look like enough vegetables the best part about chicken pot pie is you can uh, freeze the filling so whatever all I don't use I'm gonna freeze I'm gonna add a bit more veggies because can give it some give it some body so that's about a cup of veggies about a cup of veggies in total and give it a nice mix and now I'm going to put the pot on low the potatoes are dying I can hear them dying in there I probably should have stabbed them so they can cook all the way through I'll stab them now the potatoes are being murdered stabbed and murdered and slaughtered all right the water's pretty warm though, so it's about to be at a boil. The chicken flavor packet. I'm gonna grab the chicken out and begin to shred it in these last couple of minutes that the uh, other stuff is doing what it needs to do. Move this breakfast stuff aside. All right. So, I'm gonna just take my knife and a fork and just start shredding, shredding until I can't shred no more. Now, I'm gonna put it on a plate for sliding. Okay, so I'm just gonna start pulling the chicken apart, giving it a nice, nice pull apart shredding. Wish I could give you all a bit more of a close up here, but Hopefully you know how to shred chicken. Just kind of stab it with a fork and then slice the knife through it. And just make sure the chicken is like nice and shred. You should know how to shred something. Have you ever seen a shredder like a paper shredder? Yeah. Do that but like with a knife and a fork. I'm telling y'all this like you're going to make this recipe. Let me know if you're gonna make this recipe down in the comments, fools. Season the chicken how you want. You can do salt and pepper. I did salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. Um, just cause, you know, I, I like to eat the chicken like while I'm cooking, and I like for it to be seasoned. So, you know, season the chicken how you want. Let me know if you're gonna make this recipe. You gotta use a, approximately a pound of chicken, maybe a little less. Like between half a pound of chicken and a pound. Just depends on the serving size. I'm making one pie, so I did about a about a pound of chicken. So I, I like the chickeny chickenness of the chicken pot pie. Make sure it real chickeny. I'm really just trying to shred this chicken. It's hard. It's like hurting my wrist because it's like the fat parts. 
I'm trying to beat this potato, because the, pota the potato is like two minutes out. But anyway, I'm giving the chicken a good old shred. And uh, next up, I need to not only season the pot that's on the stove, but throw these pies in the oven, one of them. So I need to throw a pie in the oven at like 425-ish. And then give that buddy about like 10 minutes poke the holes so that it doesn't pop up. I like to poke through the tin foil almost. Anyhow, let's throw that in there. I let these thaw since this morning, these pies. I bought some frozen pie crusts because ain't nobody about to make pie crust from scratch. Sometimes I make stuff from scratch, like breakfast uh, stuff I make from scratch sometimes. Like I've made biscuits from scratch several times. Sweet biscuits, salty biscuits, reg biscuits, cheese biscuits. Um, you know, I've made uh, french fries from scratch. Anyhow, so I'm trying to get this chicken shredded more because it's like super chunky. Y'all come peep this. The chicken's like super chunky. I'm still trying to shred it. This is already on warm. We got the pie crust in the bottom in the oven. We got the top over here sitting and thawing. And these potatoes, let's see if they're, they're bubbling. Oh, they're almost to a boil. Let's leave them in there another minute and a half. Or I did two minutes on accident. Okay. Anyways, stay tuned. Sorry, y'all can't see up close or whatever, but that's the moment. It's the best I can do, pickles. So I'm shredding the chicken some more. I'm honestly about to start just picking it apart with my hands. Because what do I look like? So I've, I've definitely become a savage picking it apart with my hands, pickles. But you know what? YOLO. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometime I was going to have to pick some chicken apart with my hands. Might as well be today. You only got one life, Pickles. You better live it. You better live it. You better experience those emotions, Pickles. Because you know what? One day you're not going to have emotions. Because you're going to be dead. So you know what? Live while you're living. Don't live while you're, li don't live while you're young. You know what I'm saying? Live while you're living. Just live. Try. 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 Emphasis on try. So I shredded a lot of chicken in comparison uh, to what is in my pot. I might, oh wow, that, that's a boil. That is a friggin' boil right there. Y'all should see this. That is a boil. That is a boil. If you're watching this far into the video, put that is a boil. Put that is a boil. Y'all see that? Y'all see these potatoes? That is a boil. Shoosh. Okay. Let's do a jazz check. Oh, still the cutest baby in the world. All right, since jazz is good, we're gonna keep on keeping. Let's get this done, Pickles. So, we got the uh, boiled potatoes sitting there finishing the boil in the, in the boil state in the microwave. Because if I pick up that pot, it's going to be super hot for that bowl. Right now, what I'm going to do is make sure this chicken is shredded finely and start adding it to the meal. So I'm going to get the uh, chicken ramen flavor packet, literally a ramen flavor packet, and season the chicken and the uh, pot. Season the chicken lightly with it. And then season the pot intensely. Season the chicken some more lightly with it. Okay, throw the chicken in there whilst seasoned. Throw the chicken in there whilst seasoned, and then throw the rest right on tizzy hot. Now, rinse off my hand and grab some garlic powder and onion powder, powder and season to taste. So I'm gonna just like hold it over the pot for about. 
few seconds here. Do it two or three shakes here. Two seconds here, and then two or three shakes here. And stir it all in. Get the fork I was shredding with. I had a chicken fall on the uh, on the oven on the skillet. So y'all are probably thinking, well, Sid, how long do I leave the bottom pie crust in there? Like 25, like 25 minutes, maybe less. Just look at it. See if it looks suspicious. If it don't look suspicious, don't let it melt. All right. So. I'm mixing everything. I've got the seasonings in there. I've got the veggies. All we need to do is cut up the potato. Okay, I'm not gonna grab that with my raw hand. I'm not that silly pickles. Y'all almost had me. Y'all almost had me. All right, so transitioning this boiling water to this sink so I don't burn myself and die. Boom, 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 get out of the bowl. Oh, almost hit my foot. I'm okay, pickles. Fear not. Whew, everything looks good so far. I hope I'm not screwing this up. That's how I feel every time I'm cooking. I'm over here telling y'all what to do, and I hope I'm not screwing this up. So I'm gonna transition these potatoes onto this aplate after I slice them on the cutting board. So, ooh, ooh, hot, hot, it bounced up, it bounced up on me. Jasmine, I'm okay, I'm okay. I know. So, I turned up the temp on the... What's it called? The burner. Instead of the burner being on low, I escalated the burner. The, the burner's now on medium while I'm cutting the potato. You don't have to cut the potato fancy, just cut it. Get some nice, decent chunks. Call me Gordon Ramsay, next level chef. If you see this, Gordon, I will be the next level chef. All right, so I'm gonna transition the potatoes into the uh, into the mixture. I'm gonna try not to do too much potatoes because we don't want a potato pot by him. All right. So now that everything is in the mixing bowl, I'm gonna give it another stir. Try to really just get those potatoes to just settle on in there. Really get them to just to just mate with the rest of the meal. You feel me, guys? Really just make sure there's there's a love connection. Oh crap! Some of the food fell onto the skillet. All right. So really make sure there's a love connection there. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this on warm for a bit and check on the pie crust, which is looking ravishing in there, trying to rise, so I'm going to stab it, stab, 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 the pie crust looks ravishing, I'm going to go ahead and take it out now, for good luck, because it's browned on the corners, browned on the corners there, hopefully y'all can get a good visual, um, you know, the pie crust starts off as like white or beige. If it turns to brown on the corners, you know you did something right. Okay, sorry. This is like white or beige, you feel me? Ooh. So, I'm now stirring the mixture, warming it up. And uh, once it's warm, I'm gonna go ahead and taste the mixture and make sure it's delightful before I throw it in the pie. I don't even know if it's enough, quite frankly. It's looking a little not enough. But maybe I'm slacking on the visuals.
So once you put the cooked mix in the pie, you're gonna wanna just cook the top of the pie crust onto the, the cooked pie crust with the pie fixings in the middle. Nick's still sleeping, but you know what guys? We're getting some chicken pot pie at night. That is the move, chicken pot pie at night. And it's about to be like seven o'clock. I have an 11 o'clock live tonight. I might take a power nap. Just depends on when Nick wakes up. Yeah, sometimes guys I do the lives early because like, I don't wanna fall asleep before the actual live time starts. Anyway, I'm gonna give this give this a bite. I'll make sure I got some vegetables on there, make sure I got some chicken on there, make sure I got some potato. Blow on it. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna just throw a couple more veggies in there. Yeah. And that's probably it. That's it. I'm gonna just warm it all up by keeping it on medium for the next bit. And then I'm gonna fill up the pie. Because the vegetables cook the fastest, so I'm super not pressed about that. I do have a bit of extra chicken here, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I do have a donation center I can send it to, so I'm not pressed about that, but I am gonna refrigerate the majority of it. So, here I go. Throwing it all in the bag here for my fridge. Making sure everything gets taken care of here. And Jasmine loves a good pot pie or whatever, so I'm definitely gonna give her some, but not a lot, because I want to eat my own pot pie. But I'll take this over to the donation center. Yeah, that's a deal. It seems we're taking on now. I guess I'll leave that up to you. If you haven't seen The Greatest Showman yet, watch it. And love on Hugh Jackman. But anyways, uh, put The Greatest Showman is awesome or what you thought of it in the comments if you're this far in the vid. Um, and how's y'all's day going? Happy Sunday. I hope everybody's I hope everybody's Sunday is going well because everybody deserves a break and I know that this is everybody's weekend, not mine. I try to grind every day for y'all. Hopefully it'll come to a time where I don't have to grind every day for y'all, but in the meantime, I have no problem with it because I am a workaholic with insomnia. So what else am I gonna do with my time? Am I right? Anyway, I knocked out super hella five minute requests. Like I was doing five minute requests like crazy today. Because today is probably the best I've felt all week with my back. So I'm just cooking up a storm over here. Um, everything's really just thickened and started to form. So I'm just going to taste it again, see if it's, war if it's warmed up. It wasn't warm a second ago. Yeah. Still really not warm. Like, what's the hold up? It's like not warm at all. I mean, I guess it's like the frozen vegetables going in there changes the dynamic look. Come on now. Might have to throw a little milk in here to liven it up. Liven up the party a bit. Get some uh, garlic. It's 
starting to warm up. I just need to like make sure everything's all together cooked before I go and doing other things. Well, anyway, I'm about to fill up this pie, y'all. Throw it in there, call it a night, edit this vlog, and devour this pie. Now, I'm going to leave the pie in there for about 25 to 40 minutes, just depending on how it looks. So, once the top starts browning up right the way I want it, right at the crispiness I want it, then I'll take it out. I'll probably throw some salt on top because I love a nice salted crust. Uh, but, yeah, that's me making my pie. Maybe we'll make apple pie tomorrow or something because... I have some apple pie in the fridge, but I did not finish it because I didn't put enough apples. It's like more like like gooey instead of apple-y and I wanted the apples. So I failed myself on the pie. But it's a good like quick fix. But since this fixings are all done up, I'm gonna transition them into this pie tin. Hopefully it all evens out to a good amount. Super good. I am going to uh, throw the pie crust on top, this pie crust on top, and then throw it in the oven. Give Jazz a kiss and then go lay down while this cooks. Because quite frankly, I'm ready to eat. So here we go. I might do a little salt to taste right here on the top, just so that when you bite into it, there's like a nice like illusion that there's a salted crust. So I'll do a nice salty salt on the top, and then I'll put the crust on and salt the crust. So I'm just gonna peel the metal away from the crust from inside the tin. Peel, 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 peel to transition. Don't wanna peel too hard. Just kinda wanna softly, gently lift it and separate them. I feel a little aggressively, but it's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and straighten it out, which I did. A voila, a pie is made. Now, I know the experts would recommend an egg wash, but I'ma just throw some salt. I'ma just throw some salt on it. Yes, yes. A boom, 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 boom. Make sure that's nice and looking good. Boom, pickles. Now that is a pot pie. So I am going to take the pie and toss it in the 425 oven. The 425 is what I cook the uh, bottom layer at. And now we we'll wait. I'm going to clean up over here for a bit. But I hope y'all are doing good. And I hope y'all are enjoying my vlogs. I am just, just a mom doing what moms do. A mom in the daytime, an ASM artist in the nighttime. <clears throat> and uh, I'm just doing what needs to be done. Shout out to all the moms out there. Shout out to all the pickles barely even able to take care of themselves. Shout out to my pickles in general. Y'all are a great audience. Thank y'all so much for being so supportive of my crazy ideas. And thank y'all for being so loyal and loving. Nick and I literally are in awe of how supportive our audience is, and y'all are just the best. And if you're watching the vlogs, then you're just going above and beyond to take in my content, which is the best. So, obviously, love y'all. Thank y'all. Can't say it enough. But I'm going to just transition everything into the fridge. When I make pot pie again, I can use these fixings, so I'm not pressed. I have probably enough for, like, a single tiny little pot pie. So I'm going to just fridge and freeze that pin it till later because i need to lay down nick had a great idea when he just closed his eyes and went to sleep we woke up kind of early today we had the dogs sleep in the house because it's super cold and they peed in the house one of them peed in the house chevy 
But it's fine. It's just like, you know, four babies opposed to one when we have them inside. Yeah, Jails. All right, so it's not super clean in here, but it's clean enough for me to walk away and come back, see what's going on with the pie in a bit. So I'm gonna throw this away and pickles. I will catch y'all on the flip. I hope y'all have a wonderful Thanksgiving week if you are a teacher or, you know, of, you know, some sort of job that lets you have Thanksgiving week off. I hope y'all have a great week off. Um, if you are in school, I hope you have a great week off or whatever. Just have a great Thanksgiving, guys. I'm thankful for you all. November is time to say thanks to everyone. Give thanks, okay? Give thanks always, but it's Thanksgiving, so emphasis on the thanks. Jasmine, you got so much to say. Say it to our face. Say it to our face. Hmm? Yeah, man. Okay, girl. Rude. She just threw it back on the ground. Okay. Thank you. Mmm. You just watched the movie now. Okay? We're going to wait on the pie. So she's a rascal. Y'all already know. All right. Let's take a break. All right, Pickles, I'm going over to check on the food. I already pulled it out. Now it's time to cut it open and see what it looks like. So that is a cutie looking at a pie to me. Uh, and now I am going to give her a good uh, slice of roux. too shabby. Okay, okay. All the guts were like, we're not coming. Nice. All right, let's see how this tastes. Well, Pickles, that is all I have for y'all right now. If you got to this end in the video, put pot pie in the comment section. Yeah. If you got this far, put pot pie. Hot. Hi, Jazz.